committed to the university. Because it's a university, not because it's a historically black university. I think that the sooner this state gets away from the concept of talking about historically black universities is a step forward for this state. We no longer talk about historically white universities, and we've had plenty of those through the years. And I think that we need to move beyond that. Point. I think we need to move to deal with the issues of funding needs at South Carolina State because it's an institution of higher learning in this state. It's servicing a student body that doesn't have the ability to bail the university out. These aren't kids that are coming from wealthy parents, from wealthy niches in the community. These are kids that are going there because they can't get into these other schools. And we're... They can't afford it. They can't afford it. Well, okay. Okay, so... The, you know, what we're saying is the university can bail itself out. Yeah. Well, right now, I'm not. I'm the reporter. I'll be in charge. Are you aware of anything else you'd like to say before we go back to the center? No, I stand correct. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You know, General Rice is a, is, a, is a great supporter of the university, and I think he just simply, the way he characterized it was just, you know, misunderstood. What he was intending to say, and I think he was saying, is that we have a large number of students who attend our university who are need students, and students who have great needs. A higher proportion of our students receive and, and require need-based financial aid than any other school. And we welcome those students to our school. We have always welcomed those students to our school, and we provide a nurturing environment for those, those students to attend our school. I think that's what he was trying to get at when, he's, when he made that statement. Uh, it is not realistic to expect that those students who have been affected by the change in federal regulations, which makes, makes it harder for them to get a loan, it's not realistic to expect those students who have found themselves you know, in a difficult situation because there's not enough need-based scholarships coming from the federal government or the state government to expect that we can go back out now and force them to pay money that they owe us. We do that. We do attempt to collect our bills. We go about it in a business-like manner, but it does not, it's not realistic to expect that we're going to go out and force those individuals who are having a challenge in meeting their regular day-to-day -day, you know, bills to suddenly come up with money that, they then, that we would then turn around and support the university.